In this video, I will show you 10 lesser known but pretty useful Excel shortcuts. Whatever be the level of your Excel expertise, there is pretty high chance that you will find at least 5 new shortcuts here. So let's get started. Control T is a very popular Excel shortcut that is used to create Excel tables. But there is one more shortcut to create tables in Excel and that is Control L. To convert this data into an Excel table, select any of these cells here, press Control L. Create table dialog is activated, click OK. See the data is converted into an Excel table. We can use the function key F9 to evaluate Excel formula in parts. For example, to evaluate this particular formula part by part, we'll select the cell reference B4, press the function key F9, see the cell reference B4 evaluated to Donald Bradman. Now let's evaluate this part of the formula, search open parenthesis space comma B4 close parenthesis. We'll select this part, press the function key F9 and that part of the formula evaluated to 7. Now let's evaluate the entire formula, select the entire formula, press the function key F9 and the result is Donald. The function arguments dialog of an Excel function contains the definition of each argument of that function. Now let's see the shortcut to activate function arguments dialog box. To activate the function arguments dialog box of an Excel function, type in the Excel function, press Ctrl A. See the function arguments dialog box is activated. Look up value, table array, column index number, range lookup. And we can also use this function argument dialog box to define the arguments. Lookup value, table array, column index number. We need the name from the second column. So type in 2, range lookup, false. And here is the formula result. Y power Chaudhary. Click OK. Shift F11 is the keyboard shortcut to insert a new worksheet into an Excel workbook. Interestingly, if you select n number of worksheets and press Shift F11, n number of new worksheets will be added. Here I am selecting three worksheets, Shift F11, three new worksheets are added. Once again, four worksheets, Shift F11, four new worksheets are added. Control page down and control page up are the keyboard shortcuts to navigate through sheet tabs of an Excel workbook. Now let me show you one more keyboard shortcut to select a particular sheet in Excel. Press the function key F6. See a green rectangle around the current sheet tab. Now press the right arrow. See the green rectangle move to right side. Again. Now the green rectangle is around the sheet tab called yellow. Press the enter key to select this sheet. Now to select this sheet called break even, press the function key F6. See the green rectangle. Press the left arrow. Press the enter key. Alt F3 is the keyboard shortcut to activate the name box in Excel. Once the Excel name box is activated, we can use this tool to navigate to a particular cell or to name a data range. For example, 
to select the cell Y500, press Alt F3, say Excel name box is activated, type in Y500 and press the Enter key. See the cell Y500 is selected. Now to select the cell G14 of this sheet called Sales Data, press Alt F3, Excel name box is activated, type in the name of the sheet, Sales Data, exclamation mark, now the name of the cell, G14, press the Enter key, and G14 of Sales Data is selected. Now the keyboard shortcut to insert the arguments of an Excel function. For example, to insert the arguments of VLOOKUP function equal, type in VLOOKUP, press Ctrl Shift A. See we have all four arguments of VLOOKUP function. Lookup value, table array, column index number, range lookup. Now double click on an argument to select it. Lookup value, select lookup value, table array, select table array, press the function key F4 to make the cell references absolute, column index number, we need the employee name from the second column, type in 2, range lookup, false and press the enter key. When we have multiple cells selected and the active cell is off screen, we can use the keyboard shortcut Ctrl Backspace to view the active cell. Press Ctrl Backspace and here is the active cell. Now let me show you a practical example for this shortcut. Suppose we have to create a VLOOKUP formula to look up a value into a moderately big data set equal VLOOKUP open parenthesis lookup value comma table array here the table array is a table containing 150 rows now to go back to the cell containing formula we don't need to scroll up using the scroll bar just press control backspace and we are at the cell containing formula F4, comma. We need name from the second column, 2, comma. Holds for an exact match. Press the enter key. Old down arrow is an Excel shortcut that comes handy in many situations. This shortcut will bring up drop-down menu of cells containing data validation list, the filter drop-down menu of column headers, and the autofill list of unique values for cells without data validation list. Once we use the find and replace dialog to find a match, we can close the dialog and use the shortcut shift F4 to select the next matching values. For example, to find this text accounts using the find dialog, press Ctrl F, type in accounts, find next, see the cell containing accounts is selected, close. Shift F4, see the next cell containing accounts is selected. Shift F4, similarly, Control Shift F4 will take us to the previous matches. Thanks for following me up to here and here is a bonus shortcut for that kind gesture. 
Excel has an inbuilt form which makes data entry easier. Maybe due to space constraints or some other reasons, this feature isn't included in the Excel ribbon. But at the same time, we can activate this inbuilt data form using a keyboard shortcut. And that keyboard shortcut is Alt D O. Select any of these cells in the dataset. Alt D O. And here is the inbuilt data form of Excel. Once again, Alt D O. To add a new record, new for the current date, control semicolon, product, hit cat, sales rep, Anna, unit price, 80, units, 122, new, and a new record is added. I really hope you got some new shortcuts here. If you have enjoyed the video, consider subscribing to the channel so that you won't miss any future video releases. Thanks for watching. Wish you a great day.